that's 40 million by end of 2016 eight years of Akufuadu and Baumia today we owe 750 billion CDs As a, if we share the 750 billion CDs amongst all Ghanaians, remember in 2016 we owed 4,000 only. Today, if we share that 750 billion amongst all Ghanaians, including a newborn baby, you know how much all of us owe? 20,000 Ghana CDs. As, as a, and this was, this was a government that in 2016 <coughs> said that we don't need to borrow. The money is there. I've worked in Bank of Ghana before. The money is there. We don't need to borrow. Today they've borrowed far more than any government in the history of Ghana. But the sad thing is, if you borrow, you invest the money for transformation. They borrowed more than 650 billion CDs. But what is there to show for it? What is there to show for it? If NDC had borrowed 650 billion CDs, Ghana would be looking like Dubai by now. But that is the beauty of democracy. We have an opportunity to make a change. And 7 December, all of us have a responsibility to our country. This election is not between NDC and MPP. This election is about the future, especially of the young people of Ghana. Ezu. Ezu. We, we know the economy is in a mess but in economics there is something they call prioritization and opportunity cost you must prioritize what will transform the lives of the people and so if you don't know we are going to meet a mess we have some plans that will stimulate the economy especially in the Volta region one of them, one of them is the Women's Bank. There will be, there will be a branch of the Women's Bank in this whole market. As a, and so, our mothers and our sisters who are doing business here when you make your small money you go and put it in the women's bank and anytime you need a loan you need thousand cities you need two thousand cities you need 500 cities you go to the women's bank they'll give it to you at low interest rates and you pay small small As you as a, one of the pro, uh, projects that will transform this corridor is that if you look in our 2020 manifesto we are repeating it again in 2024 we are going to build a modern market in Aflao and then we are going to repair the road first class road between Aflao and Ho As you, as a, so what I said is we will build a modern market at Aflao we already have a good market here in Ho what is left is the Ho Georgia Aflao road we will repair it so that we will repair it so that the two markets will be linked up People who come from Aflao and come and take goods from here. 
Our mothers here will go to Aflao and bring goods here. And that will also... And that will also link up with Lome Ashigame. And so it will create prosperity in this corridor. I bring you greetings from, from Professor Nana Jenopoku Ajiman. Our women are partners and they have occupied every office of the land except the two highest offices that is the vice presidency and the presidency on 7 December history is going to be made for the first time in the history of Ghana we are going to elect a female vice president and that gives me hope that all my sisters here and our daughters can also aspire to serve in the highest office of the land. But let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing between the two parties. There's a big difference between the two parties. And let me tell you what the difference is. When NDC comes into power, we invest in things that will transform the lives of the people. What we do is we ex extend electricity to communities. We provide good drinking water for communities. We build markets so that our markets can get a good our mothers can get a good place to trade. We provide roads. We build schools. We provide hospitals and chips compounds and health facilities because we know that those projects will benefit not only those who are alive but their children their grandchildren and their great grandchildren because the school that was built by NDC you will attend your child will attend your grandchild will attend your great grandchild will attend when we extend electricity to a community it benefits everybody our mothers buy deep freezers and they're able to sell ice water they're able to sell poultry products vulcanizers are able to work work um, uh, welders are able to work auto mechanics are able to work everybody is able to work because electricity has come to the community and our children will come and meet that electricity our grandchildren will come and meet that electricity but you know mpp what they do is they wait when it's getting to elections they'll come and pick one or two or three of you and then make sure that they give them money then they'll come to you and say you see you have been supporting ndc this man came to mpp you don't see he has made money but you forget that the water you are drinking ndc provided it the electricity you have ndc provided it the market you are selling in ndc provided it that is the propaganda they have been using on the Volta region. I can tell you, just take the Volta region. Everything from electricity to water to schools to hospitals were built in NDC time. And so, when elections are coming, and they come and say, give us your Momo number so that we can send you money. I beg you, give the Momo number to them. And when they bring the money and they are distributing 200, 200, 200, don't say you don't like it. Take the money. And some people will say, oh, uh, the money, if I take it, uh, they will do me something and that nothing will happen to you. If somebody takes your money and he brings it back to you, 
There is no Pelekpeji in the matter. Pelekpeji Melio. Ezu. Ezra. If, if you have a toss, steal your money. If you have a toss, steal. What is happening here? If you have a toss, steal your money. And he bring your money back to you. Pelekpeji Melio. Ezu. Ezra. In our previous governments, from Rawlings time to Mills to Mahama, we invested mostly in infrastructure. This time, we're going to invest in infrastructure, but one of our major focuses and objectives is to provide employment for our young people. Ezu. Ezra. And that is why we're going to introduce the 24-hour economy. And you know the formula for the 24-hour economy. It is one, three, three. It means one job, three people, three shifts. One job, three people, three shifts. Ezu. Because if we go to work at 8 and close at 5, that's 8 hour working a day. It will take us 50 years to be able to turn this economy around. If people are working, we must be running. And that's why we're going to give incentives to all those who are capable of extending their working hours. We will give them tax incentives. We will give them security and safety. We will improve the transport system so that people can go and work at night. So that more of our young people can get employment under the 24-hour economy. You see, they say, Premier Gao Nepa Gao. Le, le de, de, deuxième Gao n'est pas Gao. Mais le troisième Gao, c'est très, 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 très Gao. Ezu. Ezu. It means that first fool, second fool, but third fool is a big, big, big fool. Ezu. In 2016, Ghana was not perfect, NDC was in power, but at least we could get our small, 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 small. And they came and said, NDC is incompetent, Mahama is incompetent, NDC is incompetent, Mahama is incompetent. And indeed, Akufuado said that if we voted for him, he would transform Ghana within 18 months. Ezu. And we all remember the promises that were made. Yet is the council will come to the end. <laughs> if the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate will expose you. Ezu. No, no, it was all Hanya. It was all 419. All they wanted was political power to enrich themselves, their families, and their friends. Kwame Nkrumah founded this country to open the opportunities up to all our people, no matter your ethnicity or your tribe, no matter your religion, no matter your political affiliation. And yet today, the opportunities are open for only a few people. And so on 7th December, we need to take Ghana back for the people of Ghana. Because I can tell you, I can tell you that there are many people in the MPP who want us to take Ghana back from the small family and friends who are enjoying. I have several MPP friends 
who say do your best and send our party back into opposition so that we'll go and reflect on what we've done and we'll reorganize the party and that is exactly what Ghanaians are going to do on 7th December Ghanaians are going to send the MPP back into opposition let them go let them go and reflect on the hardship that they have inflicted on Ghanaians let them go and reflect on the suffering that they have inflicted on Ghanaians and go and reorganize themselves but NDC I can assure you 7th December NDC is going to win the election as you as a, and this is going to win the election and I can assure you of two things I can assure you of two things one is truth and honesty as president I'll be truthful and honest to you I will not deceive you I'll not tell you lies and the second is I will do my best I will work hard to turn the economy of this country around Thank